Good day, you groovy geeks, and welcome to another episode of Gizmos and Gags. I'm your host, Kip K. Every week, we look at a gizmo and a gag. This week, we have something little and something big. I hope you're enjoying this new series, Gizmos and Gags, because I know I am. And for the past 10 years on YouTube, all I've really done is project videos, DIY, how-to type stuff. And I always wanted to kind of expand and do some other things for fun. That's why I started this Gizmos and Gags series, which you can see every Wednesday. Now, in addition to this series, I'm doing something that a lot of people have wanted me to do for a long time, and that's electronic tutorials. And I'm doing those on Sundays. Kip K Tips, all kinds of different tutorials to help you be a better maker. And in addition to these two series, I'm still doing my project videos. So three videos a week from me to you. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are too. So let's get to today's gizmos and gags with our first gizmo. It's right under here. This is the Zep baseball or softball swing analyzer. Now, as a former baseball player and a current fast pitch softball player, I've been using Zep for a while. It is a really cool device. Here's how it works. You got your bat, and then you've got your Zep. Now, the Zep goes in this little holder here, and this goes on the knob of your bat. It's kind of a little bit difficult to get on, which is good because that means it's going to be secure when you're using this bat for batting practice. You might not want to use the Zep during a game just because this pro protruding holder for the Zep. But once that, once that is on like that, then you stick the Zep tracker right inside there. And then, whoa, you take your swings. Don't hit the wall hit the ball. So I've used it a little bit. I've shot some video. So here's a little bit more about Zep if you are a baseball or softball player. I set up a power net in my garage every now and then to go out and take some swings. The perfect place to play with this Zep 3D analyzer. Once you calibrate the Zep, it's time to take some swings. Then you can go back and take a look at your swing in 3D. It shows you the bat path and also the bat plane. And you can move yourself around and take a look at your swing from different angles. It provides you with all kinds of stats like bat speed, hand speed, time to impact, vertical angle, and attack angle. And you can even get training from pros like Jenny Finch, who shows you her great swing, and Mike Trout, who has all kinds of tutorials on better hitting. They have a feed where you can share your results with other Zep users, and you can set up personal goals as well as shoot video. This Zep app for baseball softball does a lot. So as you can see, this Zep 3D swing analyzer is pretty cool. It does a lot of stuff. Now they also make it for golf, they make a tracking device for soccer, and they also make it for tennis. So for a wide variety of sports, you get this little guy and uh, it'll do some tracking and hopefully it will help to improve your game. Now it comes with this little USB charger where you stick this Zep in here like that and then you just plug it in the wall and it charges. It's about 150 bucks so a little bit pricey. The one for baseball and softball is 150 bucks so Maybe a little bit pricey, but for the long term, if you use it for a number of years, it really pays off because you can kind of see your swing and kind of get a feel for, uh, you know, how well you're doing, improving your swing in a lot of different sports. So that's today's gizmo. It's the Zep Analyzer. By the way, none of these products are sponsoring gizmos and gags. I wish they would. But they're not. These are things that I've used or I've purchased to bring on the show to show you. So get that little housekeeping out of the way. All right, now it's time for everybody's favorite, the gag. It's right under here. This, my friends, is the Bug Assault. Now, the company sent this to me a couple of years ago, and I just really never did anything with it. You're probably wondering what it does. Well, have you got a problem with flies or bugs? This shoots them down using table salt. 
That's right. That's why they call it Bug Assault. Now, I've only played with it a little bit. I've never loaded salt into it and tried it. So let's do that right now. I've got some ordinary table salt right here. And you pour it right in this little spot. Put some salt in there like that. I mean, whoever thought of shooting flies with salt? You know, it, it's, apparently it only shoots a pinch of salt. So you're not gonna make a mess around the house unless you have a lot of flies, in which case you have bigger problems. Close our thing there, and then you cock it just like a shotgun. And then it has a safety that you click in place. Oh yeah, it fires. It fires salt. I'll have to vacuum in a little while. Let's try this again. Whoop, safety. So, yeah, this is the easy way to kill flies. It, for some reason, I think just going like this is gonna make the fly fly away. Maybe not, but uh, this is the bug assault. I always forget the safety. I guess that's a good thing. And uh, it shoots a pinch of salt and kills flies. Amazing. I might have to hack this to shoot something else. What do you think? I'm not sure what else we could shoot with it. Another pretty interesting feature is that when you cock it, this little indicator comes up to tell you that it's armed and ready to go. How about one more? All right, that's our gag for this week. The Bug Assault, the original salt gun. Oh, by the way, do not shoot in face or eyes. All right, so that's today's gag. And you know what? Uh, I think I might as well give this away to somebody. Why not? I've got the original box here somewhere, the original box that it came in, and uh, I'll send it to one lucky fan. I'll do a little contest. There's a comment pinned in the comments down below that's from me. You just click that link, you do a couple of things, and you're entered to win this. And in a few days, I'll give this bug assault to one lucky fan. What do you say? All right, thanks for watching this week's Gizmos and Gags. See you next time.